got allergies? No problem. This dog is considered to be hypoallergenic. That's because they have human-like hair, not fur. Fur holds more dander than hair. Dander can irritate people. And here's another big word associated with this little dog. Pharyngeal gag reflex, where sometimes air goes rapidly up their nose like a reverse sneeze and momentarily makes them snort like a goose. This is usually a harmless event that's over in seconds. Meet the second most popular in the world, the toy and the terrier. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yorkshire Terrier. I love Yorkies. You know, it's the dog who's always sort of looking for trouble with other dogs. Napoleon complex type dog, a, a big dog in a little body. A Yorkie, they'll take on a big dog. They're very, very independent, feisty, intelligent, working little dogs. And talk about upward mobility. The Yorkie started in the cellar as a ratter, chasing rodents in factories in northern England, where their origin is traced. These dogs were bred to catch rats for the working class. And then they left the workforce for European high society and are now everywhere, like at this Yorkie meetup in Manhattan. I've had Yorkies since, you know, probably about six, seven years now. I've loved them since I was in college, and we have playgroups once a month. They're so much fun to cuddle with. Cutest dog ever. This portable pooch's ancestors are the Clydesdale and Paisley Terriers, which are now extinct, and the Sky and Airedales from Scotland that were brought to Yorkshire, England by miners and weavers in the mid-19th century. One of the most famous early Yorkies was a stud named Huddersfield Ben, who was said to be the father of the modern Yorkie and had tremendous influence in setting the breed type in the 1860s. The Yorkie crossed the pond to the U.S. in the late 1800s and was one of the first 25 registered breeds with the American Kennel Club. This is a small dog, officially in the toy group, but still a terrier. They average about nine inches to the shoulder and weigh about five to seven pounds. Born with a black and tan coat that quickly turns to tan and blue and is pure AKC if it's uncut, flowing, silky, and dander-free. If the dogs are not for showing, the owners usually go for the shaggy look. And some owners like to trim the hair on the face to avoid food getting stuck in their whiskers. Most people choose to keep their Yorkies in what's called a puppy cut, with grooming is not that difficult. If you want your Yorkie to have that coat that's flowing, make sure that you focus a lot of energy on the grooming. Training with a Yorkie can be a lot of fun because they're so keen on their owner. They follow commands and learn very quickly. Yes, yeah, that's a good girl. They're super fast. They love to work. You get them learning and following the commands. Man, you're not going to get a dog that's going to be more impressive. This is a portable, adaptable lap dog that does well just about anywhere. But it always wants to be with you. So leaving it at home alone or outside is not advised. A clipped coat needs daily to weekly combing, and the full show coat requires a lot of attention. You gotta put a little bit of energy into brushing them and, and keeping them clean, but for the most part, that coat's not that bad. These guys are little and have fragile bones and are prone to tooth decay and gum disease. Yorkies make good pets for adults, but be careful around children. They can be snappy okay. and even bite. This is a great dog to, to have if you're single. They're not dogs that I would recommend with kids. Yorkies are highly intelligent dogs that take to training well. I think Yorkies are a joy to train. They are bouncy and energetic. They're very, very focused on people. Although this dog may not be the best suited for you, it can live anywhere. The trachea is delicate. Coat needs regular attention easy to train, and best with older families, 